welcome back to another video from Chan27. In this video, we will show about 5 The Incredible Insane Engineering in Advanced Crane Technology. Number 5 is Climbing Crane LCC 140. The Loggerway Climbing Crane is the world's first self climbing crane for the construction of wind turbines. This crane has a total weight of 270 tons and maximum hoisting weight is 140 tons. The crane's mast length is 33 meters and boom length is 46 meters with boom range of 32 meters. The crane was invented and developed by Loggerway to be able to build ever higher wind turbines, in usual but also in somewhat more challenging locations. The crane's limited size, easy transport and quick setup time provide many advantages for the construction of wind turbines. Due to the limited size and relatively low weight of the climbing crane, delivery to site will happen with 11 trailers. In most cases, roads do not need to be adapted at the construction site for transporting the climbing crane. The regular requirements for the transport of wind turbine components will suffice. Another advantage is that the climbing crane requires a relatively limited permanent crane installation site. Depending on the local situation, a permanent crane installation site of approximately 500 square meter may suffice. This saves many precious square meters on the construction site. In addition, the permanent crane stand does not need to be serviced. The climbing crane, therefore makes locations accessible, where large regular cranes cannot operate or where the costs of using regular cranes are high. Number 4 is Grove GTK 1100. The Grove GTK 1100 is revolutionizes lifting technology to raise loads of more than 70 tons to more than 120 meters with lower operating costs and minimal space requirements compared to existing lift solutions. The GTK 1100 is a mobile telescoping crane combining the best features of a crawler and tower crane with a maximum lift capacity of 149.6 tons. The maximum boom length is 60 meters and the maximum tower length is 65.5 meters. Its four outriggers are 12.6 meters long, have vertical cylinders and pads, and include tensioning rods for bracing the crane. The frame of the carrier, designed by Scheuerl, is a semi-trailer design. The frame has an integrated welded cup design made of high-strength fine-grain steel, and carrier elements welded on to help with transport and assembly of the tower section. The tower section of this crawler crane has six telescoping sections. A single-state telescoping cylinder extends the section with a four-fold locking arrangement. A tubular lattice design of four spreaders brace the head of the tower. Each of the four spreaders contain one tensioning cylinder and one vibration damper. The engine of the superstructure is a Mercedes-Benz Ohm 906LA. This six-cylinder, diesel, water-cooled, turbocharged engine is rated at 258 horsepower. A four-cylinder Lombardini LDW140130 engine can power the crane in case of emergency. In addition, the power pack that powers the tower section of the crane has its own engine, a four-cylinder Mercedes-Benz OM 904LA. The hydraulic system of the power pack is made up of one axial variable displacement pump for telescoping and assembling the tower sections and one gear pump for the outrigger and pinning systems. Third on the list is XCMG XGT 15000-600S. The XCMG XGT 15000-600S is the world's largest tower crane with 10 world-first technologies. This crane 
has a maximum lifting height of 400 meters, and a maximum lifting weight of 600 tons, which will effectively solve the problems of heavy lifting components, high construction height, and large operation span of the project. The XGT15000-600S is a super-large tower crane design and customized to accommodate mega-scale bridge construction projects. The first unit, which officially rolled off the assembly line in June, was deployed to the Chow Ma Railway Bridge project of the Manchin Yangtze River Bridge, including railway and highway. The crane is one of the main models of S-Series products, S-Series products in the industry for the first time introduced the design concept and control technology of truck cranes, high safety, as the core, with wise intelligence, strong performance, excellent quality, precision module, excellent performance is an important feature of the series of products. XCMG's innovation in breakthroughs in safety and reliability, intelligent and advanced, green and efficient, appearance and humanized four major advantages of technology. The tower crane adopts the combined design of a flathead main tower, boom auxiliary tower and manned elevator, and has the core advantages of a high safety level, intelligent technology, strong functionality, high quality and precise modules to deliver excellent performance. It also achieves level 12 typhoon resistance in a non-working state. Second on the list, is Liebherr LHM-800. The LHM-800, is the most powerful mobile harbor crane in the world. Owing to its huge dimensions, the crane handles large freighters, with a width of up to 22 rows of containers. LHM-800, has a lifting capacity of over 300 tons, the crane is particularly suitable for the handling of heavy industrial goods. The bulk cargo capacity of this giant is also unique at 2,300 tons per hour. This crane has a total weight of 742 tons, and maximum lifting capacity of 308 tons. The LHM-800, also has jib length of 64 meters, and maximum radius is 12 meters, with maximum load bulk is 90 tons. The LHM-800, is meets the ever-increasing demand for mobile heavy-duty cranes in the maritime sector. A key driver of this development is clearly the wind industry. In a special heavy-lift version, the LHM-800 is capable of lifting weights of up to 308 tons, and up to 616 tons in tandem mode, with the intelligent Liebherr system Psychratronic. Psychratronic is a computerized, assistance system, for operating two cranes with one crane operator. This makes the system not only suit ideally for tandem lifts of turbines over 600 tons, but also ideal for handling rotor blades, which in the offshore sector can be over 90 meters long. Psychratronic speeds up turnover time, and increases safety as the computer monitors operation to avoid overloads, and compensate for the displacement of components being loaded. The LHM-800, is equipped with the latest generation of diesel engines, for the exhaust emissions standards of EU Stage 5, or EPA Tier 5 final. The four struts, lattice design of the boom provide maximum stability, and handle the sideways pull better than alternative boom designs. This results in a longer service life. The lifting and lowering movements up to the maximum load capacity are effected steplessly, without changing gears. The lifting speed is up to 120 meters per minute. First on top of the list, is MAMO at PTC200DS. The PTC200DS, is a 3200 tons class crane, with the capability to lift up to 5000 tons. It is able to perform a wider range of lifts than its little brother, the PTC140DS is its maximum load moment is 40% higher. This allows the crane, to undertake more sitewide lifting activity from a single location, removing productivity losses due to relocation downtime, and reducing civil works needed on site. It is strong, and can withstand both hurricanes, and temperatures between minus 40 and 55 degrees, allowing it to work at the remotest and harshest locations. 
It has a high operating speed, making it an optimal crane for time-driven projects that require multiple lifts. By combining lifting capacity, up to 4,535 tons, with its long reach and flexible configuration, Mamo its PTC provided an ideal solution on site. Because the counterweight is positioned on the ring, cranes such as the PTC don't need any additional space to slew, allowing efficient use of available space while still providing an extended lifting range. Additionally, Mamo its crew set six steel pre assemblies over existing purge bins inside the plant. These maneuvers needed to be made approximately 91 meter above ground level with the use of tag lines. By setting this steel in pre-assembled sections, the amount of work performed at elevation was greatly reduced. A hydraulic swivel was used to help steady the load, because using tag lines alone would have been infeasible for controlling the orientation of each piece. With the assistance of the remote-controlled hydraulic swivel, the pre-assemblies were able to be precisely positioned. That all for today, thanks for watching this video, see you next episode.